is important is the word of God. And how many of you do you have Bibles here? Lift your Bibles. Let me see. Let me check. Please, you must not, you must switch off your phone and the iPad. Lift up your Bible. Can you stand with your Bible? Your Bible will represent you. If, if you have got a Bible, uh, which look old. If something is not right. Why you don't wear old clothes? Let me come closer and look at your Bible nicely. <laughs> Let me look at your Bible. You people, I don't, I, I don't trust you. How can you have an old Bible when you are... Yeah. Some, your Bible doesn't have a cover. <laughs> this Bible, you are not reading it. Hey, Baba, can you see this Bible? Hey, give me your Bible. Look at this Bible, Baba. <laughs> look, at, look at the Bible. Yeah? I mean, look at this Bible. Just tell me about this Bible. This, this show, okay, give me the notes book. Automatically, you don't have notes book. Give me your notebook. Look, look at the, look at the, how big is the notebook. Look at that. This is a, is a very serious issue. Ah. And if your Bible is having only New Testament, also we have a problem. Let me see another Bible here. Some Bible here, I'm more happy about them. Brother, why don't you change this Bible? Look at, look at this Bible. Look at it. I mean, Bible is not expensive. Where is your Bible? Eh? At home, if you are sitting in front here, and uh, can you see this? At least this one. Look at this Bible. Can you see? You must love your Bible. Your Bible must not be like, might be one Bible in the house. One Bible. That's the reason why it will be old. Yeah, you don't have Bible, isn't it? Let me see. Why this Bible? I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you people you understand what I'm saying. Look at this Bible. Look at the Bible, and you understand? Because the Bible represents you. It really represents you, Mama. Where's your notebook? Let me see. Yeah. Where's your notebooks? Eh? Ah. Where do you get revelation? Where do you write your revelations? I love that Bible. So at least I, I love it. You, you, you can hear. I mean, I mean, you must have two or three Bibles. They're not expensive. How much you bought this? 500. It's a shame to us who are Christians coming to church without Bible. I mean, some of us, they have their, their bones and they cover them nicely and they cover them. They put them nicely. Christians have what? Let me look at your Bible there. Can you see, there are still some people when they come to church, they, they march like soldiers. <laughs> I mean, like this. Let me see your Bible. I mean, let me check your Bible. Yeah, I think we must also have a service like this where we have to ask you, where is your Bible? We, before you enter there, you, we have to, we go, you people now, you're no longer going to the church for the word of God. And after now, someone prophesy will pray for you. Where do you rely in the word? Because it must be the word that makes that word to come to pass. I'm sure you understand that. It is the word of God that makes the prophetic word to come to pass in your life. You cannot come to church like this. Or maybe you are going to a, a song. Of, Let me see your Bible. Notebook, a Bible. Let me see. Look at this Bible. Sometimes, uh, 
Look at this one. And you people, when you are still going to school, you used to have your Bible, school's books and you covered them. Eh? What is happening to us? Look at this Bible. Look at this. And you find that this Bible, you didn't buy it by yourself. Somebody, someone gave you. This is a shame to us. And you know if you love your own Bible, you buy it. You would love to open it, isn't it? And refer to it. Yes, at least here. Yes. Where is yours? Where is it? It's a Bible. Ah, let me see this one. It's a book. Ah, look, someone just come with a book. This shows how far are we spiritually. How far are we? If you want to see people who are very much incarnated in spirits, you see them wearing this, wearing that, wearing that. Otherwise, they call it joy, joy, joy. They can even frighten you. So this Bible shows us how far are we spiritually. Let me just check some few Bibles here. We, we close. I, I love that. I love this one. Yeah, Mama, we must never allow anybody around you here who stay behind you without a Bible on Sunday. Yeah, we must check. We must check. Can you see? You don't have Bibles? Look at this. Can you, can you just bring camera here? And, and record these people here who don't have the Bible. <laughs> Look at these people. You don't have Bible. And where are you coming from? And where are you going? Are you Christians? I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. It's really a very painful. That's why Satan is really playing with us. Because we can't read the Bible. You can't open the Bible and like this. You read for yourself. And you find revelation for yourself. If someone, you know, can just tell you that I heard this scripture in the book of Nicholas. You will agree. <laughs> Look at how many people who don't have a Bible. Somebody can just say, Nicholas chapter 3, verse 70. It says that you must give me your money. And you'll do that. Okay? God bless you. God bless you. It's a very... How many of you understand what I'm saying? Is it not touching? Eh? When you were going to school, because the church is a place where you learn to grow your spiritual life, isn't it? When you're going to school, you must say, this will beat you up if you don't have a notebook. If you don't have a notebook. Yeah. I'm bringing my baby and my, I'm bringing even this. I even write nowadays my things. I bring them. I thought maybe it will teach people. When I was bringing everything here, my iPad, my what, what, everything, no one was learning. I began to see people holding phone. So, so I open. In fact, I have to bring everything here. And uh, I don't know what will happen with Mama. I bring my books here, all of them here. I read here, read here. And Mama must have a pulpit there. Hallelujah.